I think I can pull 405 in the next like year. And I'm like, wow, like pulling that is gonna just take a lot of people off the roster. <laughs> I mean, I'm not making this sh Coach Greg, in today's video, a new fear unlocked. Women are now saying that they can't possibly date a guy unless they can out deadlift them in the gym. And so we got a female powerlifter and she says the only negative part about lifting weights, the only negative that she could possibly think about going to the gym being a powerlifter is listen to this. So the only downside to lifting and like specifically powerlifting is that like you're constantly getting stronger. But and so this girl, she's going to the gym and the only downside of going to the gym is, get this, you're constantly getting stronger. You know, how annoying is it? I go to the gym and my deadlift goes up. I can squat more. My bench press, it's through the roof. It's so annoying because you know why? You know why it's so annoying? Because I can't possibly date someone that can't outlift me. Because I'm this, I'm that, I, 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 I. How narcissistic does it sound to say that you can't date anyone unless they can out deadlift you? If I'm getting stronger, that means that my partner, like whoever that potential partner is, has to also like be stronger than me. And so this woman, she's very strong. She can currently deadlift 375, soon to pull 405. And so if her boyfriend can only deadlift 385 and she continues to train, well, she has to break up with him. I mean, think of it. How could you possibly go out with a guy who can only pull 385? And remember, she pulls sumo. And so does it actually count if you can out pull what your man does conventional and you're doing it sumo, does that actually count? Is that a deal breaker? You know, I once thought deal breakers were perhaps they're not emotionally available for me. They don't have the same value system. They're perhaps cheating on you. Those are perhaps deal breakers, but no. It's can I out sumo deadlift my boyfriend? Like we cannot be deadlifting the same thing in the gym. And so picture this. He perhaps bench presses 275. Maybe she does 165. But she can out deadlift him sumo style in the gym. One lift of all the lifts in the gym. She has specifically trained her technique is bang on and she can out sumo pull him. Sorry, too bad. Great knowing you. It's time to move on. And so think of the guys out there. Why do you think guys are taking performance enhancing drugs? New fear unlocked. If a girl gets too close to you in strength, well, she's going to break up with you. And so guys now have to go to the gym and think, well, geez, what if I'm not strong enough? I have to lift more weight. I just pulled 375 and I think I can pull 405 in the next like year. And I'm like, wow, like pulling that is going to just take a lot of people off the roster. <laughs> I mean, I'm not making this shit up. She pulls 375 and she's at the gym and there's two guys there. You know, one's an active power lifter. The other's just a strong dude in the gym. One pulls 405. The other pulls 425. She's thinking, geez, if I keep training harder than last time, perhaps if I watch Coach Greg videos, if I use the supplements like creatine, Turk Builder, Ecti Builder, and so on, then I'm going to clearly get stronger and put on more muscle. And then what amount of men are left over? I mean, think of all the guys that are off the table. She's currently at 375, so anyone who deadlifts below 375, you're not into consideration. And so those two guys who deadlift 405 and 425, perhaps she has a crush on these guys. Well, if she gets to be as strong as them, well, they're no longer on the table. And so what is she to do? And so, oh my goodness, I hate weightlifting because if I weightlift and I get too strong, I simply can't date the guys that I want to. Let's look what people are saying in the comments section. By the way, she's doing sumo deadlifts. Then she needs to S-T-F-U-O-N-G. Me, 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 me. Just hear a bunch of whining, honestly. And so let's really analyze the problem here. She wants to date somebody who's stronger than her in the deadlift. Now, whose responsibility does that ultimately fall on? Is it the man's responsibility to have to get stronger than her because she wants it? Or is it her responsibility to not give a shit if the guy's stronger than her? And if it matters that much, perhaps you can analyze your childhood. How were you raised? Why do you believe these things? Perhaps you could read a book or two. Start analyzing your thought processes. Why do you feel this way? Why is this so important? I don't know. I did the 500 and it doesn't matter to me what my man lifts. I just want someone who lifts. On behalf of all gym bros, we don't want you and your negativity. I mean, really, the problem is yours. If you're watching this, you are the problem. 
If you need somebody to be stronger than you, that's on you. It's not that these guys are off the table. It's that you have personally decided that they're off the table. They don't care. If a guy has the security and ability to date you and say, hey, I don't care if my girlfriend can deadlift 600 pounds. I only deadlift 400. She's 600. It's great. I'm cheering for it. I'm here for you. I'm your support system. I'm your team. What is wrong with that? Imagine setting your dating, marriage, and family goals on how much the person can deadlift. Because that will really matter in a few years. What a weird world we live in and we wonder why marriages fail. Not to be that person, but this is an example of how women also perpetuate toxic masculinity. There are already men who feel threatened or insecure when a woman lifts more than them and take that out on the other women who are simply existing. No disrespect intended, but there is surely better criteria to evaluate a potential partner. Girl hits 375 for one rep in sumo and is already worried for the male population. And so apparently if she hits her goal, a single, a 405, she's going to be single for the rest of her life. 95% of men can hit four or five. The reality of this, it's more like 99.9% of men can hit four or five. You really think 5% of men can hit four or five? Are you kidding me? It's amazing to me to see how ridiculous people's notions on how strong men are in the real world. I never hit four or five in the gym until I was around 23, 24 years of age. I've been training since 10. I have elite level genetics. I was a world champion powerlifter. I actually set the Guinness sumo world record for sumo sumo deadlift in a minute and it was four or five for 50 reps but to get to my first four or five took me 13 years so this woman is saying she couldn't date coach greg in her prime in his 20s as a natural athlete when i was doing 405 that's not good enough she deadlifts 405 but her bench is 135 and she thinks she's stronger than everyone because of a deadlift this generation is ridiculous i don't deadlift at all but tell her to get under the squat rack with me and the bench press and the tricep pull downs and let's see who can do the most push-ups and or pull-ups let's see if she can curl 50s let's see if she can shoulder press two plates I can go on and on. The female brain symbol has to be behind or something because ain't no way they think this way. This is dumb ASF, bro. I fully understand wanting a partner who's not weak and who can protect you, but you gotta be real Delulu and misguided to get caught up in the numbers that bad. Let me know in the comment section, does this girl out to lunch, do you really think your man has to be able to deadlift over 405 in order to date him? Does that make the guy off limits? Would you break up with your partner for being weaker than you at an exercise in the gym? Interested in any of the supplements? For example, Turk Builder, also have Acti Builder, Geo2 Max, Protein Bars, Protein Powder, Everything you're interested in, please head over to their website, code Greg, 10% off. Click the link in the description. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Like this video if you in fact liked it. Watch one of those two bloops. Don't forget about coaching plans by me and my team. We got training books, we got the cookbooks, we got the circle diet book, clothing lines. We got so much stuff going on. Head over to my website, including the free diet and training program. It's free. You can get stuff for free on the website. Head over there right now. Also, code Greg, 10% off. Click the link in the description. And until next time, I am out.